Hello everybody, it is Octobedian and today we're going to be doing uh, starting a new let's play of Stellaris uh, patch 1.1 this time around. Um, I was going to do an episode of Aurora, but uh, then the NPR decided to steal all the uh, turn time, so here we are. Now, uh, Stellaris has gone through a patch since the last time I tried to do a let's play when uh, illness got in the way. Um, they've changed a few things, fixed a lot of bugs, um, so we'll see how it plays out. Now, we are going to be using a different race. Uh, last time we used these guys. Uh, this time we're going to use these guys because somebody recommended that uh, with my croaky voice, a frog race would be perfect. So I've gone ahead and created these guys. Um, this is the closest I could find to a frog. Um, to be honest, I seriously, Paradox, where are the frogs? Come on. There's like millions of different kinds of frogs, different colors, schemes, designs. Give us some frogs. Um, but this is the closest I could get. Um, they kind of look a little bit like a bullfrog type thing, but oh well. I mean, I made them purple because frogs. Um, we are going to be playing a science directorate. Uh, I believe they're the same as last time. Yep. Um, so, 40 to 50 years elections, um, a, a research alternatives plus one, so we get four research options instead of three, and an extra uh, empire leader capacity. Um, we are going individualist, because the uh, type of frogs that we are uh, tend to keep to ourselves. Um, xenophobes, because we, once again, as a race, like to keep to ourselves. We don't like other people very much. And we are materialists, so we are down to earth and um, very n in tune with uh, nature and physics and science and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> now, we, I, I did base these guys off a specific type of frog, so if anybody can figure it out, it should not be too difficult. Um, feel free to post in the comments below and I'll uh, let you all know if you're right. Um, for our racial traits, we are going strong, resilient, and charismatic. So we are very pretty and charming. We are tough and strong. So we, as a race, we are hard to kill and very easy to take out others. But we're also sedentary, so we, we do like to keep to ourselves and stay where we are. Uh, red lasers I'm going to be using because... They are fantastic starting weapons, uh, when ships don't really have any shields and have to rely on armor. Um, I'm going to be sending this game to run entirely on hyperspace, as it allows a little bit more strategic gameplay, instead of just enemy ships jumping into wherever the hell they want. Um, so we are, of course, hyperspace, and we're using more squad ships. So let's load up. Uh, we'll run a medium galaxy of a two-arm spiral. Uh, a nice amount of empires, standard settings, and hyperdrive only FTL. So let's see what we get. <clears throat> Here we are. All right. So let's begin. Um, leave the tutorial off. If you want a tutorial, I'm sure there's other Let's Plays that will uh, go through all the basics. Um, but I'll turn it off for a moment. So, first and foremost, let's have a look at our planet. Alright. Let's have a look surface. We got... Wow. For society research. I know where we're, go I know where we're going to be focusing on then. Uh, we got another uh, physics point here. Another uh, society one over here that we can harvest later on. There's an energy node here that I de we definitely want to hit up. And the, and the uh, engineering one over here. But So I think we'll focus on this one as soon as possible. No, this one up here. It's about the same to clear. Same cost of energy and minerals. But it provides a, one extra energy credit compared to this one down here. So energy is vital. Uh, very important that we get it uh, as much of it as possible, so we'll start work on clearing that as soon as possible. 
All right. Uh, production. Five energy, three minerals, three food. Do we have anything else interesting on here? Uh, we got a four food here, but I believe that's because of the farm. The five energy one here that's going to be interesting. Another one here, so that's great. All right. Let's set up science. So for physics, we have Dronafeg, who is adaptable. So he's going to get more experience. Uh, Trokakseg, who has an expertise in statecraft. And Maxerdoc, who gets a flat 5% research bonus. Maniacal. Love it. So for physics, let's have a look. Uh, we want... Oh, admin AI, flat research speed bonus. Yeah, definitely get that. For society, colony ship, we definitely want that first. We don't want to risk that not rolling around for a while. And for engineering, let's go for... Well, let's get some armor up. And a composite armor. All right, that's tech done. Next, science ship. Survey the system. Let's go. And away we are. So, with hyperspace travel, right? Um, all travel is linked to these nodes, right? So, you can't... So, from here, you can't just jump straight to here. You have to go to one of these. So which is different from the travel system that we used uh, in the last Let's Play. So, it, like I said, it does provide a much more strategic gameplay because you know that enemy... It's like, for example, if we take this one here, uh, enemy attack might come from here or here, which means we need to fortify two jump nodes. But if we sit here, then enemy attack can only come from that one particular direction. Uh, Let's go ahead and get that our plant up and running. And where are we growing? We're growing here. That's fine. Um, right. So attack can only come from one direction. So it's easier to fortify the one uh, arrival point than it is to fortify the other two. So we'll go over there, have a bit of an explore. Oop. Buttons, buttons everywhere. Tab still doesn't open. Oh well. Oh, we have found a mineral spot. We'll go ahead and build a mining station. Two minerals, not bad. And let's see what's up here. Uh, continental. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> Let's go up here. Anomaly found. Uh, no risk. Yep. We'll do a research. Um, so, just doesn't match observations. No problem. Looks like a very simple anomaly. What's over here? Habitability 80%. Tropical. Ooh, I like tropical. And we've got a continental one here. So it looks like we're going to be getting a tropical world up here. Which is useful because there's two different um, entry points, but they're very close to each other. So that's going to be relatively easy to defend. Let's head down here and see what's what. Now, production, production, production. Right, we'll pause it. Uh, a natural geometrical formation. A marker showing the way forward. Mining station's done. Good. Excellent. We got a building. Uh, put him there. We can get that energy up soon. Now, we are going to want to build... Oh, we don't have colonization yet. So, we'll wait for colonization to come through first. Hmm, interesting. 
Looks like they can actually jump from anywhere, as long as it's outside. But they always appear at this particular point. And we have another tropical world here. Definitely going to have to survey that one, because that one's very close. And we have a continental and tundra world as well. Tundra is not terrible, but no, it's pretty terrible. How's the science ship doing? The leader has gained a level. Anomaly failure risk 10% reduction. Very nice. Very nice. That'll, that will make him survey things a lot better. Alright, science ship. Go survey this one here. Because this one has a little tropical world here, which is a size 12. How big is this one up here? Size 21. Alright, so this one's going to be a, a better planet if we uh, if all things are the same. <clears throat> How are we doing? Nothing special here. Oh, uh, we got a something. Set rep is nothing special. We've got 31 months. Alright, we found an anomaly between land and sea. Rocky Souls and Liquid Tea. Oh, cool. Alright, we gained 60 society research. Awesome. And 0% failure risk, so yes, definitely research it. Down to 27 months. So this one's going to get... So the colony ship's now going to beat the... Uh, AI, which is excellent. That 60 boost really did a good job. Yep. Cool. That's on here, is it? Uh, how are we doing... We get 1.4 a month. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Looks like, it, looks like it's up, upliftable. Oh, here we go. Pre-sentient avian species. <clears throat> Irradiated with a continental preference. Tomb world habitability plus 100%. Yep, yep, yep. Alien animals observed by the cause for some con consternation. Plotting gate and blank stares deeply disturbs the populace. Hmm. So what have we got? So they're continental. Uh, well, it's standard. They're on a continental planet. Uh, but they have plus one hundred percent tomb world habitability and a plus thirty lifespan for years. I think we do want to try and integrate these guys into our own society, because if we find the tomb world, being able to uh, take possession of it with these guys is going to be far superior. So uh, I do want to grab a hold of this planet as soon as possible, but we have an energy uh, credit uh, bonus on this planet here. So I want to get a construction on the way. And how much was it going to take? I oh, need to expand our borders. It's just outside range of our borders. Okay. We'll have to go have a look at that. What's over here? Uh, another tropical world. Okay. Let's go have a look at this one. Now we are, of course, looking for uh, tropical worlds, which are where we come from. So, tropical worlds are definitely better. Lots of stuff here. We got engineering research, energy credits, lots of minerals, good habitability. Now, why is it only 80% for a tropical world? We've got 100% on this one. Maybe it's because it's a brand new planet that we haven't really exploited too much. Oh well. 
Oh, we forgot to have a look at our leaders. The planet governor, plus 2% uh, happiness, construction time reduction, clear blocker time. Um, System survey complete. No, we don't really have the influence. It's fine. All right. Uh, food production increase and hydroponics farm build cost is improved, so that's looking good. Uh, for our empire. There we go, government. So, we have a level 5 uh, matriarch, industrialist, plus 10% minerals, and fertility, plus 10% food. Not bad. Uh, doesn't really have anything else. Yeah, that's all fine. Oh, science ship. I guess survey up here. Yeah, we definitely want this planet. It's a SUS-12, but uh, we need to expand the borders ASAP. Frontier Outpost requires maintenance of energy and influence. So you can't have too many of these, otherwise you get into a lot of trouble. But there is a tropical world here. Yeah, colonization is going to be a far superior option. We're only 18 months away from getting the um, colony ship tech. That's fine. We can do control five planets in our core. Yeah, that's not bad at all. <clears throat> Eleven minerals a turn, which is awesome. Oh, per cycle, I think it's monthly, yeah. Doesn't seem to be much around here. This is also a continental size 4, 24, so if we can get that other race as part of our um, empire, we can have we can colonize this one over here as well, which will be excellent. Oh, research. Yeah. Let's get a research station on the way. Two extra society on top of what we're getting from our planet, which is going to be... Huge. We'll get a science lab here. System survey complete. Ah. Energy plant is done. So now we're getting seven. Perfect. Science ship. Go survey that. We also got some physics tech here as well. So we're gonna we're gonna get the um Ooh. Wow. Interesting planet. Lots of choices around here. Because with these ones, if you build a power plant, that, that nukes the minerals. But if you build a mine, that nukes the energy. So you have to make a choice of whether you want energy or minerals. So that'll be interesting. Anomaly found. And anomaly, 0% risk. Yes, figure out what it is. And we definitely want to survey that size 21. <clears throat> Actually, let's have a look at the surface of this one. We got a 2 of society, which is not bad at all. 2 of food, and choices for most of the rest. There's a 2 engineering over here, here as well. And there was also one... Oh, well, we haven't surveyed that one yet. There we go. Hmm, tool using life forms. Right, so these things use pre sentient, but they use tools. Natural intellectuals. So, society output of 20% bonus, but a penalty of minerals and energy credits. Hmm. Lots of physics tech on here. Another two of energy. 
would be worthwhile as a colony. I don't know about keeping them, though. Extermination might be a better option. Because they only provide a bonus to society, but they penalize energy and minerals. So, mm, yeah, extermination might be a better alternative. But it is continental, so we could take our other guys that we want and dump them on here. Um, that way we get the best of both worlds. Literally. So uh, that's definitely a possible good option. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, hey. Energy credits. How you doing? Get a research station up. So we've got seven to society at the moment. So we've got ten months left on the colony ship. Five months. Ah, huh, it's picked up. Five months left on the AI. Must have picked up some re some tech points somewhere along the way. Oh well. Anomaly found. Oh, that's cheaper to do anyway. Uh, we got an, we got okay. We got a leader up. Our scientist is rank three now. Awesome. And we got an anomaly. What is it? A class twelve asteroid orbits this moon. Too stable for the presence to be a natural occurrence. Five percent failure risk. Worth it. Figure out what it's doing there. Three months away. Here we go. A small celestial object was pronounced gaseous and particulate trials recently observed in the Americana system. Its passing was uneventful. Plus 40 influence. Cool. Now, let's see. For some reason, someone has turned an asteroid into a stable orbit. Massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Uh, asteroids have also been mined for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after the gun. So, the planet gets plus three engineering research. Awesome. I definitely like that. It'll be a good planet to... Uh... System survey oh, physics and engineering. <laughs> Yeah, that's really nice. Alright. That is our tech. Uh, science ship. No. Construction ship. Get an energy mining station. Science ship. I want you to survey this system here. Got a gas giant, but we got a Tundra World over here, too. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go have a look over here. And what are we doing for, for research? Alright, we've got a few options. We've got point defenses to protect against missiles. we got a physics lab, which gives phys bonus to physics research. Or we could get a better laser. Blue laser. I think I want the laser. Might be the fusion reactor for the ship. Let's get the fusion reactor for the ship because we need more. I mean, because we need more power, especially if we want something like blue lasers. Alternatively, a physics lab would make all of our physics research progress faster, and physics is basically all of our weapons. So, let's get the physics lab first. And we're four months away from a colony ship. So looking good, looking good. <clears throat> we have encountered an alien race. Where are they? Hmm. Okay, looks like they're probably going to be space whales. Let's figure it out.
<clears throat> Who's leveled up? A scientist. He's level two now. This guy. Research speed bonus. Very nice. I like that. Probably could have waited on this a few minutes. So we can get the um, colonization on, oh, complete. <clears throat> well. Ooh, outliner options. Pretty sure that was there before, but oh well. Um... I want another two Corvettes. Get additional protection for our fleet. Special project complete. Ah, space amoebas, right. Situation log updated. It's over here. Oh, we found them. Okay. All right, let's get colonization first. Colonization is complete, then we'll do the uh, the other job. Research complete. There we go. Beautiful. And do that. <clears throat> All right. Now, for the spaceport, we want 350 minerals for a colony ship. Yeah, that's going to be expensive. But we're gaining 11 a month, so it's not going to take too long. And order range. Ooh, rare technology. Monument to purity. So purple tech are rare tech. So, they don't rock up very often, but when they do, um, they usually provide a good bonus. So, this one will unlock a building Monuments to Purity. Uh, fairly expensive. It's a planet unique that gives a 10% happiness modifier to the planet. So, would be worthwhile. Let's grab it. Border range would be good, but that's, good. that's 600 and it'll rock up eventually. Um, rare techs should pretty much be always gotten if you can. So, as soon as they're done with the uh, space amoebas, we'll get work on that. Wonderful. Alright, construction ship, how are we doing? Um, is this... Yep, the base is purple, that means it is within our... Construction no, it's not within our borders. Oh well. Just wait then. How am I doing? Anything interesting here? No. I think I might actually send these guys back. We have a science ship to uh, take care of all of our exploration. Special project complete. Ah, uh, space amoebas. And plus five percent evasion for all of our ships. Very nice. And it's gonna take twenty four months to get the monument of purity um, picked up, so not bad. Oh, and we get the 10% boost from Statecraft. Excellent. Very good, very good. We have found another alien race. Ugh. 180 days. We do need to figure out what they are, whether they're hostile or not, so... These guys are... I don't think they're the space wells. Space wells look different. Hmm. System survey complete. 
Got a long way to go. Uh, we got some energy and some engineering. What I might do is, uh, I might work outwards. Influence or habitable world survey. Situation Let's try and survey. Um. What are we going to survey next? Okay, let's loop around up through here. Research complete. Ah, uh, we got nano composite armor. Uh, we want. Let's have a look at Baratheon power plant. We want to have a look at what we have, what can find. So, Baratheon, it is. <clears throat> <clears throat> the survey of Rimdor One is revealed that certain regions of the planet are home to primitive alien proto civilization, Neolithic. Interesting. And. For society research. Stone Age primitives. Don't see them. Hazardous weather. Extra energy. They are ocean though. We'll have to come back to Rimdor. But. How far off are we... Colony ship is 350. So we're only about four months away. Special project complete. To Yankee. <clears throat> ah, yeah, so they are these are the space wells. So we get ten percent uh progress towards frequency tuning and we get frequency tuning added as a tech option so if we go have a look see there it is so we can so this will always be here so in addition to our four we will always have frequency tuning as an option um energy siphon excites energy transfer medium target enemy vessels so, not really sure what it does. Oh, here we go. Uh, deals a little bit of damage with fairly, fairly ac good accuracy. Uh, armor penetration, half percent. Eh, not too bad. System survey complete. We'll stick to the purity. 12% failure. 12% is worth it. We'll let that run. But we almost have... We can almost build it, and there we are. All right, we have a colony ship underway, and with that, we'll put a break in the episode, and we'll continue on in the next one. We'll see how we play out. We'll figure out. We'll see uh, what I might do is I'll uh, leave an option um, on whether we head towards uh, this size twelve, so we can more closely monitor. Uh, these guys, or if we head towards this world up here and start and grab hold of this size 21 tropical instead. Uh, we got a fair amount of society and physics, lots of society, a uh, bit of physics, a bit of engineering, um, not that much of other things, but we got a little bit here and there. For this one, we've got... A much smaller world, so much fewer resources, um, much less tax. But we do have access to that. But we also get access to these worlds here. So the two energy and the six minerals. And of course, two engineering as a base off the planet itself. Uh, we should also unlock this world within borders. But we haven't surveyed it, so we don't really know what's there yet. Uh, or what's on this world, so... Fair amount of options. Um, 
yeah. And uh, we'll see what's what when we get the colony ship. So if you if you want uh, if you have any re any recommendations, maybe uh, discuss it amongst yourselves. But otherwise, like subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.